Hello folks and welcome once again to Monster Train, um, which has a new DLC out. The new, the new DLC is called The Last Divinity, uh, which you can turn on and off because there are many things, which adds of course a new clan, the Wormkin clan, and also adds a pack chart feature, which I'll explain as we do a single run. Just to, like, I, I played a lot of Monster Train, then I stopped for a bit once I unlocked everything that was to unlock, that I was comfortable unlocking. Like I didn't go through all the um, prestige levels or whatever they're called, covenant levels. Um, but I played quite a bit of it, and I came back for the DLC, and I was very happy that they added some new things now. Now there are six clans. There are six clans. There's uh, the, the Hellhorned, the Woken, the Stygian Guard, the Umbra, the Melting Remnant, and of course the new Warpkin. They added new champions for every single every single um, clan as well, which I find really, really cool. Like, before you used to have only the primary champions. You used to have the Hornbreaker Prince, the, um, the, the Sentient... Tethys, Titan's Bane, the Penumbra, uh, Rector Flicker. And now, once you hit level five in every in every clan, you unlock the exiled, exile, the exile um, champion, which I haven't actually played with all of them yet, because I've been trying out the new clans. So I haven't really gone back and played with all the other ones. So, Hornbreaker Prince adds the Hornbreaker Prince and three Torch cards to your deck. Um, the exile is the Shardtail Queen, which I don't know what she does. I have no idea where her abilities are, but she adds. Um, three Queen's Implings to your deck. You have, in the Awoken, you have now um, Wilden Ten. Because the whole point of the Sentient was basically you get hit. You want to get hit and you have a lot of spikes damage and stuff like that. Whereas here you have Wilden Ten, at least has some, t some damage. And has, instead of adding Restore, you add Root Seeds. Um, which seems like a very strong card if you can just apply two at extra attack and then draw one extra card next turn. Very good. Decision Guard, you have Soul Guard the Martyr, which is... <clears throat> there you go. Encant triggers a new play spell on this floor and adds a shard one. So there's a mechanic for shards that is unique to Soul Guard. I'm assuming the abilities you get with Soul Guard rely on a shard. I haven't actually gone through all these exile champions. I do want to. You have Primordium, which is Buffet 3. So clearly Primordium is meant to be eaten. Primordium. Is, an eaten, is a unit that is meant to be eaten by other units, which is interesting. Because, um, of course, the, the whole point of Penumbra is about eating other eating other morsels to buff your own units. Whereas this one, you get uh, your own champion is meant to be eaten, and can be eaten multiple times. Um, you have Melting Remnant, you have, of course, Rector Flicker, the Burnout Mechanic, and now you have Little Fade. Which is <laughs> a sweet little hero there. Like, um... And I'm assuming there's a little reform stuff, but of course you have the new, the new, the new clan is the Wormkin clan, uh, the, Resolute, the reclusive Wormkin. These keepers of Titan's lore and history bring the power they've stored over millennia of dedicated study and isolation. And their main hero is the Spine Chief, and um, they also have the El Echo Right. I'm going to take the Spine Chief out. We'll take a random clan. Actually, I haven't actually played with Awoken as a side clan. I'll take Awoken and I'll take. I'll take Root Seeds as well. There you go. I'll take the Orkin as a side clan. Um, I'm still running the Low Covenant because I'm trying to basically trying to remember up how to learn. Uh, you have to go at least Covenant rank 1 to unlock the Pact Shards. So I'll go to Covenant rank... I'll go to rank 3. Go on. I've unlocked Lawyer to 13. But... This is now Inferno Cup win. Mm, okay. Let's go back to... Let's go to, let's go to 3. There you go. So we'll take the Spine Chief, which brings the Fracture card. Because the entire mechanic of the Worm Canal I'll explain in, in, when we get in there. This is actually, um, they've got an entirely new mechanic, which is entirely down to their clan. Uh, you see here you have the three, you have now a breakdown of your bosses. At ring three you fight Talos the Architect. Enemy units enter with Rage 2. Talos attacks on every turn and, ga and gains armor on Slay. Then you have Fell Wings of Light at turn ring eight. This clipped warrior has become winged once more. Uh, brings in the guardians, and you have, of course, the final boss, Seraph the Temperament, which friendly units enter with Sap Three. We have extra cards in our deck. We have the Shelter cards, which consume, which is consumed. It's, it's, it, it is exhausted whenever you play it. If you play Slay the Spire, it's exhaust. Um, applies two armor to per sh per uh, crystal, I guess, to friendly units. He's a sharp edge, comes from our allied clan, applies plus 10 attack, minus 2 health, and one broken memory is consumed, return a consumed spell to the top of your draw pile. 
Now, Pack Shard, so to show over here, uh, is another new mechanic from New Divinity. It's kind of like a currency, but it's a reverse currency. You gain Pack Shards by collecting bonuses. The more Pack Shards you have, the harder things become. If you have over 100 Pack Shards by the end of the game, you unlock the fight with the final Divinity. Because here's the, here's the Seraph the Temperament. If you cross this, if you beat Seraph the Temperament and you have over 100 Pack Shards, you fight the last Divinity over here. Which I have not yet beaten. <laughs> this is a hard fight. Um, do you have V-Sync to turn on? Because that was a bit of... There you go. So let's sort that out. <clears throat> Alright, so of course, let's start here. So first things first, you had, of course, upgrading your champion and a free artifact, but also you get now an additional one. You can get an additional artifact and 15 packed shards to start off with. So let's pick our champion path. Spine Chief. You can either have um, the Corruptor, which is for every crystal you have, uh, all your friendly units get plus 5 attack. Alternatively, you have it so it does, has more health and more damage, but every time you strike, it gains one crystal on that ground. Um... I'm going to pick Spine Chief, the Confector. And we'll pick, uh, see, our artifact. We have Root Split Mask. Apply Rooted when enemies enter the floor below the Pyre Room. Which means that they'll stay on the floor below the Pyre Room for an additional turn. Or friendly units get additional damage per stack of spikes. Hmm, intriguing. Um, good question, I don't know if I want any of these. This means they still, they'll stay on the floor below for an extra turn, so we'll do that there. And our Divine Horde. If we take any of these artifacts, we gain 15 pack shards. In fact, we've gained them already, so I might as well take one regardless. When a card that consumes play, they restore 5 pyre health. That's pretty good with um, worm, uh, with the worm, with the Wormkin, because Wormkin have a lot of consumed cards. The first time each turn the unit is healed, draw 1. When a card with consume is played, deal 30 damage to the front enemy unit. We'll take that. Traitor Squill. Right. For our first battle. Uh, Non-boss enemy units enter with spikes 3. I'll take that. I'll take that as a good challenge. Get a little bit extra money. Right, so. If you'll notice here, every floor has um, floor capacity. Which is how big a floor is, how many monsters you can put on that floor. But also... Um, uh, charged Echoes. They're called Echoes, not Crystals. Um, now, as you play cards that are infused, which are the cards that have these crystals on them, it adds echo Echoes to the current floor. And again, whenever the Spine Chief strikes, you gain one Echo on the current floor. Echoes are capped to four per floor. You can exceed that, but the excess will disappear at the end of the turn. Consume, apply armor to front of the unit. So I'm going to put the Spine Chief down here. We're going to take 9 damage, which is unfortunate, so we're going to put uh, 19 damage, because that's double 8 over there, so oof, that's a nightmare, that's rough. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, put, I'm going to put the Train Steward down here. I'm going to put um, Root Seeds on you. And I'm going to put Shelter here. It's going, to, it's going to get consumed, it's going to do 30 damage to this guy here because of... Traitor's Quill. It's also going to apply the armor, enough armor, so that both the hits will be tanked by the Train Steward. Which means that the only damage going to be taken here is the Spike's damage there. Let's so see, you have one there, so armor was applied to both. And also when you attack, Strike happens. I'm going to slow this down a bit so that you are a bit easier to explain. Now because we strike, we gain an additional Echo. Now we have two more Forged Disciples. A Forged Disciple there with Spikes. We can do here. We can do... I'm going to put a train steward here, so we can actually kill you and get some gold. I'm going to put a train steward here. And I'm going to use a fracture to imply reap. Reap is a, is a status effect for the Wormkin. Unit takes one damage per stack of echoes after combat ends and does not go away. Reap will stay forever until they get to the top. So if I put, for example, nothing, you're not going to die here, right? This is not dying, unfortunately. But if I use reap or here, you will die after combat, guaranteed. Guaranteed you die after combat. Um, I can consume a card? What have I consumed? I can consume... I'll put... Yeah, there you go. I'll, I'll use Broken Memories. We'll return Shelter to the top of my draw card. You die there. You die, sure, but that dies as well. Because the consume card, you've taken the damage. And that works well for us, so... Bam, 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 bam. There you go. A Brief Respite, good. Um, brief Respite... Let's do 
Two razor sharp edge. And root seeds. And shelter. Apply armor 10. Good. Now here is the boss. The boss will take a lot of damage but won't actually die. So what we're going to do here is gonna, we're going to fracture you. Guaranteed you death. Uh, there you go. And that's enough for us to win. I wonder if we're going to put a train... It's enough for us to win regardless, so just put that there. Bam. Done. And you can die now. Bam. Off to sleep. Oh, I guess we're going to the end of combat, so it doesn't matter. That reap was actually irrelevant. But, there you go. We get some extra gold. Double clan packs. Bounding Echoes. The Fused Consume applies Infused to all cards in hand, so it's very helpful to increase your Infused Crystals. Extract two, you lose two um, two echoes after you play the card. You cannot play the card unless you can lose two echoes. There's a tuned, it digs, multiplies spell power by five. Mel magic power by five. So if you have one magic power it increase, it actually does five extra damage. Um, and then there's hosting kin, consume, it does 13 damage to a unit and moves it to the back. I'm going to pick proclamation. Um, one card in every... If you have wormkin as part of your... In one of your clans... Um, it is one of the cards in your deck, in your pack, will be infused. Always. I'll put Vine Grasp just to move you into the front if we have to. Right, now you get again, you have the choice. We can go for either. We have at the middle, we're going to have the upgrading spells abilities. Um, let's go on this side, I think. We get here. Let's see. Awoken units. We get shattered shell. A sweep. That's sl if it slays, gets more powers, or just a regular sweeper. I'll take shattered shell. I just think they're the same card. But this is a, a different version of this one. It's weaker, but gets stronger if it kills things. Can we buff that up in some way? Um. Give a unit quick. You're now quick, so you go before everything else, and you also do 13 attacks. So if you kill anything early early days, it'll be good. Uh, everything else is good. Thank you. Now, again, in the middle, we can accept shards to upgrade our spells. So these aren't costs. These are how much we get to take stuff. Like, you can get 10 shards and give a spell intrinsic, which means it starts in your opening hand. You can take a spell and give it... take 15 shards to give it extreme stone. Which is increasing the amount of damage by 30%, by 30 magic power. Which means that this becomes a 200 damage spell. We're taking that. It does mean that we're going to have to go up to 30 there. You can also sacrifice units. So if you go to unit essences, you see that if you sacrifice a train steward, wherever you fuse with it, it gets plus 5 attack, plus 15 health. If you sacrifice the shattered shell, which I'm not going to do that, but whatever you fuse it into would get 3 attack, 10 health. And the ability that whenever it slays something, it would gain three attack. We're not gonna do anything else. We've done that plenty. We're already at like uh, uh, difficulty level two. The thresholds for th the thresholds for threat level become. Do I want this? Potentially, yeah. I'll take that. So they've got they've got that goes one health. That's got one health. So the slay would probably work well for us. Good. Yes. Yes! Beautiful, because you can come here, put you there, we'll put you at the front there, you'll take a lot of damage there, but then you kill... Actually, you're quick. So why is it... Why are you, take, why are you taking damage? Because you're quick doing 13 health. That'll kill that, kill that, kill that. Actually, you don't die, do you? That's it, you don't actually die. Ah ha ha ha. Okay, I'm going to put a train steward there and a train steward there. That's why you're taking the damage. Because you're not actually dying. You will die next turn now, because now, now you've been 22. I'm going to go over there. Uh, I, can do procl I can do proclamation yet, but hell. That works fine. Why do you take 5 damage? Ah, you've got a damage shield. You have a damage shield. So, Vine Grasp solves that down. You get the kills. Fantastic. Um, also, Root Seed... You. Um. Uh, 
I'm not gonna register up edge you because if I register edge you, there's gonna be a problem when the boss comes around because the boss does actually have issues. Uh, put another thing. There you go. And that'll do. Kill you and wham. Triple slay. Let's give root seeds. Um, unfortunately, you have to apply for ruptured, ruptured something, so we could apply it to ourselves, but it's gonna be horrible. So we're gonna go ahead and just give ourselves armor there. Skip that. Okay, boss time. We're gonna go fracture. You know, root seeds you. I think we win regardless, but root seeds you shelter anyway. Rapture you. Should have should raptured first, shouldn't I? Yes, I should have. Never mind. We still we still win. There we go. I do love Monster Train. I did enjoy it a lot when it came out, and because I, when I finished getting everything I wanted to get, I was like, okay, cool, let's move on. Oh, in, infused. Oh, so this the infused cancels the extract out. So just by playing the card, you infuse something, then extract cancel that play. So this is actually just for free, give something ten additional health. I'll take that. And steel enhancer infused gives three health and three attack. We also glimmer. I'll take glimmer. And what do we want to have here? We can get Awoken Hollow. Uh, whenever it's healed, it gets... Um... Oh, that's ch they've changed that. They've changed that. Increases the health of the friendly unit with lowest health by the Cultivate value. Because it used to be the Awoken Hollow buffed itself whenever it gained max health. Also, Kinhost Carapace, also very good. And Unsoil Infuse will take you, definitely. Because it's basically it's a small creature, but the more crystals you have on a single floor... Um, the bigger it begins, but also the more health and damage it does, so that's a fantastic card, that. Right, next level. You get a free artifact, that, free, say free artifact, you get an artifact for things there. Go over this side, to you get two artifacts and the concealed caverns. So we don't need to heal up at the moment, but it's fine. Your pyre starts with... Armor, when played your champion gains additional health. Champion gets more health. Get from the concealed caverns. Um, we can get an additional tome, which is a card, so a consumed card that applies effects. Quick on a consumed card, that's pretty good actually. We'll take the Wildwood Tome, applies quick to a monster. Quick, give our boss quick as well, that'll be very helpful. And our, do we want to get something here? Uh, apply days when you enter the floor below the pyre room. Start of the battle, summon four random units to settle four. When an egg unit is summoned, remove shell 3 and apply armor 30. We haven't got any eggs yet. Eggs are a, a wormkin card type, monster type, that basically they start in an egg and every turn they remove echoes from the floor and remove shell. When shell is removed to zero they they hatch. So it means it takes three shells away and applies armor 30 because eggs tend to be quite weak otherwise. Um, so that's also very helpful, Light's Gift, because it works well with the Root Split Mask. So we're going to do there. And tell us the architect. So enemy units enter with rage 2. Talus attacks every turn and gains armor on slay. So Talos attacks every turn as well. So we put someone there, Talos will attack them. If they kill them, they get 25 armor. That is no joke. <laughs> that is no joke. Um... I'm actually. Mm, if you have the if you have the quick person to put it here, so spine chief here. Uh, root seeds, root seeds. Shelter for the time being. Right. I want that quick. There you go. Because you attack there for twelve. We'll kill this one, unfortunately. So we don't want to do that. Annoyingly. Um, oh, we're we're going to focus down here. Put you there. Since you die, you kill everybody there, you get a lot of health. We're going to put Fracture on you, because it doesn't go away, it'll slowly start taking the damage. Um, we'll also apply uh, Razor Shard on you. So we'll, put, we'll put something up there in case we get a. Uh, 
in case we get a um, what is it called the little things. There we go. You're going to this floor, unfortunately. So we'll apply we'll apply quick to you, which means you kill them turn one. Yeah, so the damage is going to come from you. Um, you can just apply Fracture to you again, and take more damage, and Echo Infusion on you, and I can't play on this floor, I can't play on this floor. I would play on this floor, but there's no real reason to do that, I guess. So we'll just let it pass. That rage, you're going down there. Fantastic. Broken memories. Give me that. Actually, do you want that? I'll take that, actually. Take that back. That'll be more helpful. We'll apply Glimmer here. We'll apply Reap to you again. We'll reapply Shelter here. This damage to you. Make sure that you everyone dies. Good. Unfortunately, someone's going to die here. And I was like, nope. Aha. No death for you. Uh, and we can reap on you as well. It's got a spell shield. But other than that, we'll put down one of you. And one of you there. Just to do some damage. No damage will be dealt? Why will no damage be dealt? Oh, because of the heal. That heal will actually counteract the entire entirely. Oh well. That's fine. Final wave, okay. Right. So. 16 damage there. I want to play Reap on you. Oh, that was infused. We can play the most Carapace on you, but bam. Which does plenty of damage there. Plenty of damage there. They're all going to die, but it'll do a good, a good amount of health will happen there. Where are you, you going to take these 5 damage from? Where are you taking this fire damage from? Oh, it's, it's, it's extinguished. There you go. That's it. Okay. It's fine. Speed up a bit more. You know what's happening now. I tend to parse it very quickly what's happening. You have very perfect information if you work on it as best as possible. Um, your slave benefit's gone. Does your slave benefit disappear after the fight starts? Because you, you no longer have a slave benefit. Intrigued. Um, or we win anyway. So, but we can win immediately by just do this. Ta da! <laughs> 200 damage to the front unit. Super strong. Anything here? Charge Chandler infused. Spikes on friendly units deal plus one damage per stack. Because of the past. Apply six hell, uh, attack per crystal, clear crystals. I'm going to say crystals, it's easier for that. At least the wild wood. Um, to the past. Um, vine Mother. Yeah, Vine Mother. A vine Mother there. Boom. And we'll take an additional space per floor. Always beneficial. I like having the one big strong floor that I think can get past. So this guy's removed two cards. Let's heal the deck. Money. Wormkin. No, we'll go this way. Uh, get some money. A Wormkin unit we're gonna grab. Here's the shell. Here's the shell unit. See? Shell 8. Gat Hatch summons a Kinhost Pupa. A Kinhost Pupa has armor 20, multi-strike 1, and whenever it strikes, it applies reap to all enemy units on that floor. So we're going to grab one of these, I think, because it'll be on the top floor together with the host mama. Uh, upgrade the champion. We either get the ability we had before. Inspire, add reap to new units, or we get the infected 2, which adds multi-strike. Which we're going to definitely grab. Um, we can duplicate any card in our deck that's not the champion. 
I kind of want to duplicate, for example, you, or duplicate, for example, um, where is it? This one. We can also duplicate that one. Um, alternatively, let's have a look here what we can get. Another extreme stone, which can make that be 350 damage. Restore 32 health to friendly units and deal 32 damage to friendly units. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Upgrade a spell to gain purge and cost minus one. So purge will get removed. You'll get removed from your deck at the end of the fight for the rest of the run. So is there anything else you want to remove from the deck? Anything I don't particularly want. That is like, you know what? Get it. Make it cheap. We'll get rid of it. Probably one of the, maybe one of the razor sharp edges. I'm not really using it that much. See what can we, for example, essences. If you use this as an essence, it gets that. If you use the hest, the eggs in essence, it gives armor and strike supplies reap to units. Plus ten health and summon add three sting spells to your hand. Um, I think I'm okay. I don't want to get too heavy on the pack shards yet. The threat level is quite high right now. The more you can, like, for example, you can really like put every single pack shard as possible into your hand. And cross like you can if you if you try hard enough, I think you can hit like a hundred by the time you've hit there. You can never remove pack charts as far as where you are, so. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab We're gonna duplicate. Um Glimmer. So now we're on extreme difficulty, which is might prove a bit of a challenge. At the start of the battle, enemy units appear on each floor. You have a lot of armor. You have whenever after after combat you gain three attack. What happens on the next floors? Next floor is what? Divine Temple, Forgotten Boons, Merchant of Steel. Merchant of Trinkets. Merchant of Trinkets, I want extra money. You may lose some health here, but I want the extra money. It's also rooted in days, so the top floor will be not too shabby. Um, okay, so, you know what, let's work on this. Work, let's work top down. Spine Chief there. Tome there. That clears, that clears the top floor entirely. Uh, everything, else, you'll, everything else dies, right? Yeah, everything else dies. So everything else is just wait. That rooted in days is going to be very beneficial. I'll be honest with you. Uh, you uh, can we get rid of you? Good question. Um, that is a very good question. I don't actually know. Ooh, where are misses? Um, no, we can't actually get to you. Unfortunately, you're going to run away. Shame. Um, Can host vessel there. And the Vine Mother as well. Let that run out. Um got some armor there. Right, okay. Now what can we do here? Uh sting does damage to the front enemy units. Kill you entirely. Damage was dealt to you. Unfortunately, it doesn't kill everything. But we need to apply some stuff to um root seeds on you. Shattered shell again. Unfortunately, can I stop this from killing you? That kind of works, I guess. You die, but at least some damage is dealt here. This is going to be a mess of stuff happening here. It really is. Um, okay, let's do this glimmer here. I think you're going to be... Yeah, you're going to you're gonna sprout this turn. A glimmer again. Everything dies. 
on this floor. Um, echo infusion. You stay alive. Infused you with the reap. Does damage there. Right, so that's now spawned. The Kinho's pupa is now alive, which is nice. Now days and rooted. Right, so Vine Grass do some damage with the units at the front. Boogie to the front. Then it'll do damage to you. And we're gonna there. Because the ones that are rooted are not leaving this turn anyway, so don't have to worry about that too much. Take the this back. Because we're definitely gonna put, give that to you. Because now you are multi-strike. Um, you have armor. Whenever you apply, whenever you attack, you apply reap to the enemy units, which is going to be on this floor as well. So we're also going to frag reap to you because, of course, we are, and we'll make you do slightly less damage. Boom. All right, final wave. Okay, we'll apply fracture to you. Get that reap ticking up. Um, apply root seeds to. Uh, you and also apply proclamation to get rid of that one entirely. We'll apply quick to you. Oh, you already are quick. Are you? I guess you already are quick. Are you quick already? Why can't I quick you up? Armor, multi strike, strike. Why can't I quick you? Is it because you're cardless? A shame. Damage to you there. Oh well. Right, what's happening here? What can you do here? We can go for fracture. More reaps. More reaps. Add all the reaps in the world. Uh, sting, sting, vine grasp, and up here, this floor, we will echoes of the past. You, you fifty six damage twice on quick. Okay, top floor, dazed, will in fact die. We'll apply infused to you. We'll apply echo to you. We'll apply glimmer here. Whenever you attack twice, you'll play Reap as well, so... Sting, Sting, Shelter... And there we go. The Reap will never trigger, but... There you go. A lot of money, we can apply that to Trinkets. Uh, total Recoil. Infused Consume. Return three random spell cards from the discard pile to your hand and apply Consume. I can fill... That with... Fill the... Gaps with echoes. Apply ember drain to fill the units. Fill one floor entirely. It means the next turn you pretty much have no ember to spend. I like that. Preserved thorns consume at three sphinx spells. Bramble lash infused. Deal damage equal to the number of spikes. No, we don't have that much. Apply root to ten unit draw next turn. Not really. Don't need that one either. I want to get more trinkets. Also, you can also remove two of the train stewards from the deck. A trinket one. Spikes deal more damage, gain more ember in the first turn. When you first summon, you first gain a random unit card with 10 attack, 10 events. Hmm. Intriguing, I like the idea of that. What's the choice over here, by the way? So you don't have a choice, is it? What can we get over here? Uh, when a card with consume is played, all cards gain plus one magic power for the rest of the battle. Sting spells get plus two magic power. Helpful. We're going to be generating loads of those. Um, I'm curious. You roll this. You know, at the start of turn, add a sting spell to your hand. Oh, they get piercing as well. Yes. Definitely take that. Thank you very much. And if you want anything from the middle? Spell chain. Seek stone. No, we're pretty okay. I think I'm pretty okay. We're back down to high rather than extreme, so I'm okay with leaving it like that. 
next battle time. Armor 15 on all units. Hmm. You have oh god, you stealth. I hate you. I hate you stealth people. Um, what's on the next floor? Merchant of Steel. Merchant of Magic. Forgotten Boons. Yes. We'll take it. Um, okay, how are we going to do this? Spine Chief strikes twice. You can take a lot of damage until that happens, however. New Steelworker. Resolve applies armor to friendly units. Put that there. That works. Now we're also going to fuse that there. I'm going to put the Kinhost Pupa here at the back. Change to your just go to the top floor. Done. Aha, you're over there. Okay, fine. Uh, we will glimmer here. Make sure you, you die, you die, you die. Put the sting vine mud over back there. Can, we can do that. That clears us the win here, kind of. You don't die, but everything else does. Cool. Sting spell does 40 piercing damage. Right, okay, so what are we doing here? We are... Let's see, what can we do here? You're dead. Uh, you are dead. I want to glimmer here, in fact, just because I want to heal you up. Um... Bam. Wipe you out entirely. You take some damage. Let's give you some health. Make sure you don't die. Root seed. Make sure you don't die. Which means you're definitely going to spawn next turn. Yeah. You definitely... You're not actually spawning, are you? No. It's fine. It's okay. Now, because we can kill you entirely. Bam. You're dead. Uh, we'll give uh, you... Re uh, oh, we're out of thing, aren't we? Yes, we'll move you to the front, I think, shall we? We'll move you to the front. We'll make you guarantee that you die. Return Soul Siphon to the deck. You will actually spawn this turn. And not much damage is dealt. Rah. That's fine. No problem with that whatsoever. Um, let's put in that there. Reap on you. Put the sting piercing there as well. Make, you get, make sure that you're quick. See, now you're out now. Yep, so you now exist in the outer world. That's fantastic. So you, that's going to die. It's going to take some damage. The top floor is still going to be a bit messy, but it should be fine. Especially because we actually get to kill you next turn. Uh, we don't need that. Cool. Done. Now, you're the biggest problem here is you, because... Oh, you die anyway, just regardless. That's no problem at all, then. Um, we will kill you. Waste of time, but we'll do it anyway. Um, sting on you. Get rid of that. Reap you. Um, echo infusion on you. Wine grass on you. Infused on you. And Echoes of the Past on you. Good. Which means you don't even actually you don't even actually die. Because eight turns of not being able to hit this thing is actually horrible. There we go, never mind, we win. We won the last hit as well. It worked. Money, money. Ambient charge. Extract three. Draw three. Apply consume to drawn spells. A lot of there's a lot of, there's a lot of consume use here. Deal five damage to units per thing. But right now, the way it's played, um, gl our glimmer is better than that. In total, we call infuse three spells and give them consume. 
Well, I'll skip those, thank you very much. And you focus growth and straw health, draw two next turn. You know what? We'll skip both of these. I want to go on this side. Do I want to go on this side? Still got two more train stewards to remove, so that's not looking bad. There's also a consume here, so let's go to the two train so the two train stewards. Um, caverns. You get a gift of gratitude. Your pirate gets plus one attack for every ten gold you have. Currently at forty extra attack. Then or petty theft does two damage to enemy unit. Slave plus fifty. That works. We can buff that up to do crazy damage. That is fell the wings of light. Okay. So you can go ahead. Uh, so. I'm going to give one of those glimmers that. I'm going to re-roll the middle. Magic power and consume. And that kind of works. Does more damage, but also gets out of the deck pretty quickly. And we can do it for free, too. Oh, a free glimmer? A free glimmer looks good. Free, free anything looks really good. Like free infused, free quick wood tome, quick wood tome. No, free glimmer, free glimmer. <laughs> and do you want to take extra mo? We're fine. We're okay. Right. Fell wings of light. Alabaster guardians have multi strike. Fell empowers units with rage. So, multi strike there. You play units with rage. Okay, so we're going to give Spineless Chief there. We have Wickless Tycoon. Whenever it kills something, whenever something dies on this floor, it gains five health. Um, put the sweeper at the back there. Put the Wickless Tycoon at the front. And we're going to apply extra health to you. Um, we are actually going to do this. We're going to take some damage there next turn, but we're going to work with it. Okay, so what we're gonna do here. Here we're gonna use a glimmer here. The free glimmer. Bam! You're dead. Damage there. Reap on you. You'll slowly die. Hmm. That works there. Put you behind there. Find a way. To, need to find a way to generate crystals on this floor, but we'll see what happens. Okay, everything dies here. Everything dies here. Fantastic. Good. Um. Let's quick. Let's quick tome you then. Good. Um, let's sting you. Let us root seeds here. Root seeds here. We're gonna lose the we're gonna lose the vine mother, unfortunately. Petty theft you. Get rid of that. Um, I think you're dead, unfortunately. I don't think I'm, to, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to be able to help out with that, unfortunately. Um, so there's only a point in a little trying there. We're going to go ahead and put the glimmer down there. Um, at which points we move. Um. Hmm. 
That's what do some damage there. That was very, very painful. Play a little glimmer there. We're helping you. We'll consume something here. We'll consume a petty theft back. We'll consume here as well. Just to make sure that you die. Most damage is done to you. dead here anyway. That is problematic, actually. This one here is problematic. That's, well, that's, that's solved, anyway. Um, last wave remaining. Reap on you. Roots on you. Proclamation on you. Sting on you. Okay. Last turn, which means... Oh god, this actually doesn't die this turn. Help. Okay. Eesh. Um, heal there. Reap. Reap. Used there. Well, I think this might be the end of the run. I can see of one specific solution to this, which is not good. But it's basically, I need to. Damn, the reap there. I need to generate I, the way to be, would be to make a big floor here. And so put let's fuse you and move. I don't know. Let me. Yeah, I think it's the end of the run. Play you there, and hopefully next turn we can get something with this that happening. Well, it's unlikely. We're not going to get that card rolling back this far. Yeah, I don't think we won. I think we have a. Uh, Hit the end of this. There's a daze here for a tingle turn. So we don't get another turn. 38 damage there. Consume that. I get one more health. So it's piercing there. Vine grasp there. You die in the first turn. You actually don't do any damage, do you? 14 twice. You die. You die in the first turn. Also, all this damage is 8 times 16 damage. Oh, because it's 16 twice. No, wait, that's not right. Oh, because you get one hit in. You get one hit in, that's it. Um, yeah, I think we're very much already lost this one. Oh well. It was good because this episode was going long anyway, and my voice is hurting. I've recorded way too much this morning. <laughs> Here we go. Unlock more Wormkin. Keeper of Echoes. Inspire. Gain one health. Apply one health and one extra thing to friendly units. That's cool. Hell yeah. And unearth. Consume. Gain one. Oh, increases the amount of charged echoes that can be on a single floor. Intriguing. I like that as well. All right, folks. Um, this is the new update to, to um, Monster Energy. I am liking it a lot. I think it's, it's a really cool update. Um, it looks like, if I go to back to the logbook... They are definitely increasing the number of things here. Now, again, I haven't really tried out... Um, 
the new combinations. Also, this is this is, this this card this logbook isn't made with the last dip in it. There you go, Wormkin. I need to try that. I need to try this out. Anyway, folks, I will catch you all next time. See you then. Bye bye.